Taylor for another edition of Windows Wednesday with one of my favorite people, Megan Mustard. She is the, one of the owners. You and your husband stand the own dog culture. You guys have been bringing this Windows Wednesday for quite a few months now. Thank you so much for that. It's been awesome. It's been great. You guys do wonderful things here. Tell us about dog culture because I tell them about it and I send them to the website. But I'm going to show the video of everything you guys do here. Tell us a little bit about it. So dog culture, it's a doggy daycare training in the social hub, essentially. So we really focus on the dog daycare to find something where you can drop your dog off on your way to work, pick them up afterwards, they go home nice and tired. And the owners love it. Um, but we also have the training and grooming. We have a great self-wash um, to bring your dogs in. You don't have to worry about messing up your bathroom. You can mess up our love little area. You know, I love that. I actually, I'm just going to bring Charlotte leave her here all day because she's going to get messy and then you yes. drop her back in. An exit bath. <laughs> yeah, exactly. An exit bath and maybe a value. There we go. That works. So yeah. thank you so much. And um, you guys have some wonderful things going on here in the community. And you have a passport you were showing me. I love the passport. And so they can come in here. Yes. So um, once you come for a day gate, excuse me, daycare, you get your little passport, um, and there's a lot of local friendly dog businesses that encourage you to bring your dog. So it's just to enhance your relationship with your dog. Once you fill up your passports with the restaurants, with the coffee shops, whatever's in there, you get a stamp, and once it's filled up, you get a free day of dog daycare. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And I love, I'm kind of obsessed now because I get your feed on social media, and I can see everybody back here playing, and one day it's like, what song do you want? And all of a sudden, I'm like, hey, man, it's like 98.9. There we go. So, yeah. So, yeah, maybe we can get some hits in there. Like it. Not only am I taking requests, you guys hear dog culture yeah. taking requests. Thank you so much. We are actually going to talk about the uh, canine and fetch unit from GHS Children's Hospital. We're going to be meeting some of those dogs a little bit later on. And Wet Nose Wednesday, you know that we um, we find homes for rescue animals, and we appreciate all that you guys do with that. And so you guys actually hosted a kickoff party for Radio Fun this year. So what we're going to ask is instead of helping us find homes for the homeless animal for this week, there are homeless animals that need great homes, but there are these wonderful dogs that are doing some wonderful things with these kids who can't be home right now. And so we want your donations for that on Radiothon, so you can make your donations on our website. We'll have a link here on the video and also on social media. And I will share it with Dog Culture, so you guys can share that too, so you guys can help in that as well. They're great, so I think any donation really makes a difference for the canine fetch unit. It does. Thank you so much, Megan, for all that you thank do. You so and I look forward to doing many more for you. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Cherie Taylor. I promised you you're going to meet some of the dogs from the canine and fetch unit. You're also going to meet some of their handlers and one of the doctors that works with them. I have Taylor, Dr. Singh, and Caitlin. How are you guys? Wonderful. Good. Good. Okay. Every year we get to talk about these wonderful dogs. They do wonderful therapy with the kids at GHS. Um, tell us how you guys got involved. <clears throat> Yeah, so I can tell you how the program got started. Um, you know, we have a great volunteer program that community members bring their dogs in to visit the children. Um, we just really wanted it full time. Mm -hmm. It wasn't consistent enough, and the kids loved it. The staff really benefited from the dogs coming in. So um, the Child Life Department kind of got together and wrote a proposal, and um, we started out with two handlers who kind of volunteered themselves to jump in, kind of see what it's like. Um, and here we are two years yeah. later, and we have four dogs working full-time with us at Children's Hospital now. So Wonderful. Yeah. And the canine FETCH unit, you know, FETCH stands for Friends Encouraging Therapeutic Coping and Healing. And I think that that, you know, pretty much embodies everything that we do all day um, in our own work and yeah. then also our work with the dogs. Which is wonderful. And, you know, with Wet Nose Wednesday, what we do each and every week is try to find homes for rescue animals. And so we thought this year, why don't we take, since we work with GHS Children's Hospital, you guys have the canine and fetch unit. Why don't we take and make people donate money for Wet Nose Wednesday? Say, if you want to send your donations, gear it towards the canine and fetch unit, which is, they, they do wonderful things because, um, I met Dr. Singh for the first time earlier today, and he was telling us about King, because King just happened to come into our group as we were going on a tour. King had to go outside, but King also wanted to sniff everybody. Hello. <laughs> so tell us um, how King got here, Dr. Singh. Absolutely. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> you said, what about me? What about me? Well, let's start King, but that's one of King's really good friends. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> King has joined us. He joined us back in April. And um, his story actually is based off of one of our past patients. And so I work on the pediatric supportive care team, and our field of medicine is palliative medicine. And one of our past patients, uh, she passed away, and she was one of our first patients when our team started. And her mom was just sharing the story of her daughter and how 
much the dogs just cheered so her up whenever she was in the hospital, and that it inspired a donor to uh, fund actually the entire process. So, yeah. um, I joined with GHS last year and because I'm the medical director of the team. She actually asked for King to be with our team directly, and I was lucky enough to, to get him. Oh, wonderful. He's yeah. made a huge impact. Mm -hmm. uh, everything from the patients, the families, okay. the nurses love him. Yeah. We always try and keep the nurses happy. Yeah, you have to. You have yeah. to keep the nurses happy. Yeah. Uh, but honestly, everyone just lights up when they see him. Yeah. I enjoy having him. Everyone lights up when they yeah. see you, too, because they know King is coming, and they know you <laughs> are doing a wonderful thing, because I asked you off camera when you went to med school, did you realize you would be working with dogs, too? And when you got here, you're like, no, no, wait a minute. I am not a vet, <laughs> but you know what? You are a wonderful, you, you have a wonderful unit and you guys all have wonderful hearts for what you do. So Caitlin, tell us about who you work with and what your, uh, your project is. Yes. So Callie is my partner in crime around here. And she's wearing Callie's yeah. badge because Callie never keeps it on. Because Callie is there to break many badges and we are trying to stop She's that. like me, I lose mine too. Yeah, it's okay, that's why. She's a professional. <laughs> general inpatient, um, we serve our PICU, which is our ICU, our intermediate unit, and we also serve our epilepsy monitoring unit for kids who are having EGs. Um, she can help us just go and normalize those environments for kids, so just giving some snuggles, making it normal, making it not a big scary hospital, um, and then she can also be present for any procedure as long as it's not sterile. So snuggling with kids while they get IVs or hooked up to their EEG monitors, um, anything to just kind of make that easier. Oh and, yes, as a mom who's had had some son, a son with a lot of tests. Yes. yes. It's so much easier to have that there. Yes. So we appreciate all that you guys do. And if they want to make their donations for Radiothon directly to the canine unit, how do they do that? Um, you can text tonight GHS to 51555 or go to ghs.org slash Radiothon. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, if it's after Radiothon, you can always go to our virtual toy drive. Um, and, and the dogs have their own account on there that they can give directly to them. And, and this money goes to um, their vet bills. These dogs have to be bathed once a week or more. Um, they have a special diet. Yeah. Yeah, we, you know, we have to Except for a certain them. item they had earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Singh, the doctor. <laughs> they get to cheat a little bit. He likes a little bit of pizza now. Yeah. Every <laughs> once in a while. Yeah, so this money is, is going towards um, maintaining them and their their bills and upkeep and, and also growing the program. Um, you know, Callie covers 80 inpatient beds by herself. Well, and, and now with King, that, yeah. that does help. That does help our life. Our life. <laughs> yes, but imagine how many kids, you know, that are missed daily because, yeah, you know, just their busy schedules are, um, and so we are constantly looking for a good, a good place for another dog to be. Um, Absolutely, because you, you have the campus on Grove, but you also have the Pavement campus, and you have other campuses. Exactly. So that'd be a wonderful thing to keep growing. Yes, so if someone, say, in Anderson County needs, you know, would like to donate, that would be something to help maybe start a yes. funding there. For them. Yeah. yeah, and we have, um, I don't know if you guys can see the dogs. I'm working for you, girls. <laughs> girl, <laughs> you do it. Um, we have an Instagram account, so um, it's... I follow, yes. yes. <laughs> Vivi and I are old friends. We've smooched a little. Yeah. I was kind of surprised the first time she smooched. We rolled around the floor. In the floor. Yeah. Yes, I love that. It's one of my favorite moments. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> Um, so following them, as on you can Instagram. see on the little lower camera here, that's Vivi you're looking at right yep. now. And her balloon. Oh yeah, she <laughs> loves the balloon. Send balloons. Um, so we we just highlight what they do every day. So yeah. it might be a picture with them and a staff member or a patient and one of our dogs, um, and, and gives a little bit of an insight to people who don't get to work with us every day on exactly what they do. And it also shows fun things like this are going on the boat, yep. you know, on the weekend and just being. <laughs> you know, a regular dog. So yeah. we we have that Instagram account to show people what they do and raise awareness and, and to, uh, you know, just build the program. And just because I know I'm going to ask you guys this at Radiothon, but I also want to grab the people that may be in their offices and can't hear during Radiothon. How much initially does it cost to get one of these dogs? $25,000. Yes, it's a lot of yes, it is. It it's is. a yeah. pricey adventure. Uh, yeah. If we can speak a little bit about how the sure. dogs are trained, uh, they, they actually are bred specifically for this purpose. Yeah. And so yes. um, as soon as the puppies are born, they get examined to see are they good candidates for future breeders mm -hmm. or are they better suited to, for service, therapy, or facility dog purposes. Mm -hmm. 
And then they, around seven weeks of life, they actually are separated from their parents and they're put into foster homes. Mm -hmm. And then their job is then to get to the training camp every single day, Monday through Friday, and get trained on how to be calm and cool and just the sweetest dog in the entire world. And they are. <laughs> and the foster families do a wonderful job they because do. they take them around to expose them to grocery stores and elevators and people wearing hats. Yeah, I was in Atlanta <laughs> last year and I actually met someone that knew Vivi that yeah. had a hand in her training. Wow. And they had one of the little yeah. vests on and I'm going through a Target in Atlanta. I'm like, I knew that vest. Wait a minute. And so I pulled out that picture of me and Vivi rolling around on the floor like, I, I didn't have to say your name. And they're like, I was like, oh, you do know it's Vivitar. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they get trained yeah. all the way from, like, King finishes training at a year and a half, which mm -hmm. is earlier for com compared to uh -huh. the other dogs. Yeah, maybe it was two years as well. Yeah, yeah. it so. differs with, you know, yeah. every dog. And, and balloons. Yeah. <laughs> and our contribution back to canine assistance, so when we pay for these dogs and bring them to the hospital, that means that a child in a family or an adult who has um, an epilepsy or diabetes, that means they're getting a dog free of cost mm -hmm. to help them, um, you know, catch those signs or, or catch before a seizure. Um, and That's what the dream cap's all about. Them. That's why exactly. we do it. Yeah. So, so think about how many people really and truly that, you know, your dollars are really affecting. I mean, mm -hmm. not only is it within um, GHS Children's Hospital, it's everywhere. Yeah. Nationwide. It so. does help. Yeah, we appreciate we appreciate you and all that you've done for us. And <laughs> oh no, we appreciate you guys. All you yes. guys. I'm a mom and I've had you know um, Austin's never had to stay in the hospital, but he's been in the ER. He's gone out for testing and at, at your campus as well as the Patewood. And so without Child Life, it would just <laughs> it would have just been painful. You can ask some of the Child Life babies. <laughs> So yeah, so he knows Emily firsthand. Emily knows him. So yeah, so um, <laughs> she can tell you off camera. She can really tell you. So you guys do a great job. So thank, thank you. you, thank, thank you so you. much, and and thank you guys, our little four-legged yes. friends. So if you guys like to make a donation, you can do that through our website. <laughs> you can call in while I am on the air, um, ten to two, Thursday and Friday for Radiothon, and you can also go to our website. I'm going to have the links here on the video. Please share this video with your friends, and even if they don't live in the area what they are doing here with the child love specialist and the the canine and fetch unit are just amazing things and um, we would love for you to help if you can find a way to help or um, find a way to um, uh, even get, get in touch that. with these guys yes. to share and get in touch with these guys to find out how to start your own unit um, in your own local hospitals as well because yeah. i mean we we have people all over the country and all over the world tuning in to magic so we appreciate yeah. that. that's the beautiful thing of radio.com now people can find us anywhere so thank you guys all for what you do and we'll be talking to you thursday and friday Sure. Thank, thank you, so you. and we'll be thank getting doggy smooches there too. Yeah. I want to thank you for joining Wet Nose Wednesday. And normally we have Miss Behaving Honey Bones donate a basket um, to each new rescue, but she has some natural whole treats that she has, so I will drop those off to you guys. Aww. So you can have them for you thank guys. You. I have some in the studio just for you. Wonderful. And so yeah. we're going to say thank you to Miss Behaving Honey Bones for that. Yeah. And we're going to say thank you to our friends that you met here, Megan, at Dog Culture, 627 West Washington Street, Greenville. Thank you for bringing us Wet Nose Wednesday. I'm looking at the camera and saying, but Megan's right over here. Megan, thank you so much. You met her earlier. And you guys, if you have a pet, have your pet spayed and neutered. And if you're considering a pet, consider adopting and don't shop. And don't forget to donate to Radiothon. I'm Cherie Taylor for Magic 98.9 and Wet Nose Wednesday. Vivi, we'll bring you some more balloons. Do you like some meat flavored balloons? Can we do that, Courtney? Can we get her some meat flavored balloons? Yes. <laughs> yes. That would be the kind of. I said, King's, King's, King's like, toys. King, King's got a toy. I don't know if you have a Well, thank you for joining us from Wet Nose Wednesday. This is usually how I buy stuff. You just pick Oh, that's perfect. <laughs>